Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video where I'm gonna give you my top five KDP niches for Q3, and that is July, August, and September. And it's dominated by one main event, which I'll tell you about in a moment. So if you're already publishing books on Amazon via the KDP platform, or you're new to this and looking to build an online business, then follow along as I tell you what these niches are. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. Now, one of the main challenges people have who are trying to publish books on Amazon is coming up with ideas and knowing whether those ideas are going to make sales. And there's also that balance between books that sell well, but also have a lot of competition. So these niches that I've found for you today, hopefully fall somewhere between that in that they have decent sales, but not a huge amount of competition. And they're also relatively straightforward to create. And also, I'm in a couple of these niches, so I'll tell you about my experiences with them as well. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get straight onto it. Now, the main event that's occurring during Q3 is students, pupils, and teachers going back to school, college, and university. And so, there's lots of books related to this that sell extremely well on Amazon. And it's parents, students and teachers that buy the books that we're going to be looking at. So the first niche is coach notebooks and playbooks. Now these can be just plain lined notebooks or they could be playbooks such as these here, like these football playbooks. Now this is amazon.com. So these are actually American football books. And if we have a look inside, we can see that it's very straightforward. It's just a, a diagram of a football playing field with an area below in which coaches can write notes. And as we can see from the bestsellers ranks here, 53,000, here 111,000, and here's another one, 56,000, they sell very well. Now, as I said, I'm in a couple of these niches and this is a niche that I'm in. And last year, I sold just over 1,900 books in the coach niche. And these were actually the first books that I created in the first six months of me creating books and publishing them on Amazon. And that was in 2018. And still, a couple of years later, or a few years later, they're still selling very well. And that's why I love this particular business model. You can create these books, publish them, and they can bring in an income for years afterwards. And that's what essentially is a passive income. Let's have a look at another example, and that is basketball playbooks as well. Again, the interior is just images of basketball courts that coaches can draw and write on. Now from my books, the top three sellers were actually those related to baseball, cricket, and gymnastics. So there's a few more ideas for you as well. Onto the second niche, and that is academic or teacher planners. Here we've got some KDP books, very good bestsellers rank, 2,331. Scroll down, there's another one, 23,000. And these were actually published quite recently. This was in July, 2022. It's already got seven reviews and it's got an excellent bestsellers rank. Now, the challenge with these is creating the interiors because it's a sort of diary uh, interior and it normally covers a period from around July or August through to July or August the year after or quite often it can cover an 18 month period so from around July or August right to the end of 2023. So you need to be able to create a diary type interior which you can do yourself from scratch using tools like Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer, it is a bit of a pain. What I would suggest doing instead is going to a site like Creative Fabrica, where you can buy 
academic planners already made. Here's a couple of examples here, the 2022 to 2023 academic planners, they're already made for you. I'll leave a link to Creative Fabrica in the description below. There are other platforms as well, you can make them on BookBolt, but also a site called Tangent Templates as well, which is what I've used for a lot of my interiors. Another alternative would be to go on Fiverr and get someone to create a KDP academic planner interior as well. One thing to note is if you are going to create one of these books, just think about the title because with KDP, once you've created the title, you can't change it. So if you were to put in the years that your book covers, 2022 to 2023, then that means you've only got that 18 month window or probably a shorter window actually in which you can sell your book because after that, that no one's going to want to buy a 2022, 2023 planner say next year. So if you don't put that in the title, what you can do is when you come around to next year, you can then just create an updated interior and upload that to the KDP platform. So if you're making sales, you'll keep that sales history and also the reviews for that book. Okay, number three is the graph paper notebook. Now we've got a lot of competition here, 7,000 results, but there are lots of different keywords as we can see here. So you can niche down and find those less competitive search terms or keywords and get your books ranked. Now, again, this is a niche that I'm in. And here on the KDP platform, you can see that in 2021, my graph paper notebooks brought in royalties of over $15,000. And you can see the peak here as well around August time. And it says I've got six books, but if we look here, the sales of each book, you can see that most of my sales actually came from two books with one book in particular, which is a graph paper notebook, which brought in royalties of over $13,000. And I calculated because all my books sell for $6.99. I rarely sell any for less than that. So that equates to sales of around 7,300 books. So personally, I think this is a really good niche to get into. And as I say, if you choose your keywords correctly, you're able to rank four sub niches within this main niche. Okay, on to the next one, which is an interesting one. And that is the laboratory notebook and these are aimed at science students to use when doing their experiments if we have a look at the interior we can see that it's a grid paper or graph paper with sections here to write things like titles project numbers in um, sign off dates and signatures and there's also a table of contents as well which would correspond I guess to the different experiments that students would be doing these have got decent bestsellers ranks this one here has got 110,000 another one here 162,000 what I always do when looking at books and deciding on whether it's worthwhile going into a particular niche is that I look for three or more books on the first page that have bestsellers ranks of less than 300,000 because if that's the case I know that books are being sold in this niche and as we can see here this fulfills that particular criteria now a little bonus here uh, along the same lines as the, of these books are the physics notebooks and chemistry notebooks because you can have physics notebooks you can have physics laboratory books now the notebooks tend to just be uh, grid paper or graph paper notebooks and also the chemistry hexagonal notebooks as well that's graph paper where instead of you've got squares you've got hexagonal shapes okay now on to the fifth one and that is the Cornell notebooks again very popular and suit students of all types and at the moment the bestsellers ranks look pretty good and we've got one here which is a KDP book with a bestsellers rank of 20,000. So that is selling very well. And if we look inside, if you're not sure what a Cornell notebook is, it basically has these areas here, often a lined area, and then these blank areas for writing notes. And it's particularly useful for taking notes during lectures in college and university. There's also a variation on this, which is Cornell notebooks, but instead of the lined paper, it's got the graph paper or quad grid paper, whatever you like to call it. These also remind me of an idea 
uh, that I see of books selling on Amazon, and that is combinations of books or combinations of two niches. So you could have a book where there's graph paper on one side and line paper on the other side. And there's lots of other different combinations that you could do and that you could come up with and just try out because these books are pretty straightforward, cheap to create and free to publish on Amazon. So we've got our five niches. We've got the coach notebooks and playbooks, the academic and teacher planners, the graph paper notebooks, the laboratory notebooks, and also the Cornell notebooks. When is the best time to create these and publish these? Well, probably around now so that you can get them into the system and hopefully make some sales before the main selling period of this niche, which is around the end of August, beginning of September time. Also, the benefit of this niche is that there's also another sort of back to school peak around the uh, beginning of January, mid January time as well as students go back to college, university, school after the Christmas period. Now, if you are new to creating KDP, no content and low content books on Amazon, then I've got this video here, which runs you through all the steps of creating your first book and publishing it on the Amazon platform. Thank you very much for your time. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and until next time, goodbye.